festivities and your favorite holiday movies. The end of the year has come and we're rolling into the holiday spirit and so much to be thankful here in Henrico County. I am Victoria Davis and welcome back to Henrico Happenings. Listen, you all, today in the studio, I have two of the best rock stars out of recreation and parks here with me. And so I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves. Good morning, rock stars. Good morning. Good morning. So, Asia, you want to start first? Yes. Well, first, I want to say thank you for having us, Victoria. It's really great being here. My name is Asia Bell. I am a special events coordinator for Henrico Recreation and Parks. All right, and my next rock star. I am Adam. I am very excited to be here, too. I am a recreation manager, and I'm here today mostly to talk about the best part of the East End, the Henrico Theater. All right, and listen, you all, these are our first-time podcasters, so welcome, welcome. (laughs) I'm so excited for you guys to be here. So let's jump right in. You know, the holidays are here, and December is full of activities, programs that are happening throughout the county. Asia, share with us kind of what's going on. Yes, well, our biggest event for December is actually coming up next week. Um, It'll be December 5th, which is Tuesday, until December 7th, which is Thursday. And essentially what we do is our Holiday Express tour. So we tour throughout the county. We pick a different district for all three nights. Um, We tour throughout the county, and different um, county partners join us when we do this. So Enrico Police, Fire, um, Utilities, Library. Um, everyone joins us and we parade through the county. Um, I actually have a schedule to share with you all to kind of tell you when we'll be hitting all the different districts. Yeah. Um, so on Tuesday, December 5th, we'll tour through Brooklyn and Fairfield. Um, we'll start at Libby Mill Library and at the Eastern Henrico Recreation Center. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the end of each night, I'll say this too, we'll have a program at each of the ending points, which will be a rec center. Um, and there will be hot cocoa, candy canes, and then Santa will be stopping by so people can take pictures. Of course, you have to have Santa yeah. present, right? <laughs> Um, so then Wednesday, we'll tour through Verina. We'll start at the Verina Library, and then we'll end at Henrico Theater, actually. That's part of the Yes, event. it is. <laughs> <Hell> yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> and we'll actually have a tree lighting there, and I'm sure Adam will talk a little bit about that. Um, and then Thursday, we'll be Three Chopped in Tuckahoe, and we'll start at Twin Hickory Library and end at Deep Run Rec oh. Center. Cool. Yeah, so it'll be very fun. Definitely be sure to come out. Um, like I said, we'll have programs each night um, at each of the rec centers, and it'll be a good time to see Santa and take a picture. So All right, So the, and that's right in their neighborhoods. It's yes. not like you have right. to go anywhere Correct. far Correct. to participate in the express tour. Yes, and actually with you saying that, um, if you all visit our website, which is henrico.us slash rec slash, um, you'll be able to see our routes turn for turn, so you'll see which neighborhoods are on there. We'll be stopping at schools. Um, so if there's a school nearby, we'll more than likely be stopping there. So definitely take a look at our routes to kind of see where we'd be going. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Can they still track where yes, you are? Yes, yes, through the app. Thank you, Adam. I'm here to help. So yeah, if you all download the app, you all will be able to track where Santa is going. So you'll be able to see exactly where Santa is, turn for turn, each school, each rec center. So definitely download the app to take advantage of that opportunity. Smart. That's yes. smart. All right. And what's next? Yes. Yeah, so our next program we'll have um, is our Santa Paws event that will be at Short Pump Park. That event will take place Saturday, December 9th from 10 to 1 p.m. This is a great opportunity for all the dog owners out there who want to come out and get their pups picture taken with Santa. It'll be free, no cost. Um, there will also be vendors for dog owners, you know, to take an opportunity to shop around. And we'll also have early bird coffee truck that will be out there serving mm. uh, fresh coffee. So definitely take advantage of that. Oh, yeah. I think everybody loves the time when their fur babies can participate in pictures yes. with Santa. Yeah. It's a hot event, though, in the county. It, it is. really is. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the dog park is there, too. So after they're done taking it's their pictures, beautiful they out can there. run around a little bit, you know, enjoy the sun. <laughs> Wear them out. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. For goofy dog sweaters. Yes. yes. I love yeah. it. I love that dogs. would be really <laughs> cute, Adam. Yeah, I like that. All right. And yeah, and kind of our last event we'll have is our Verona Big Toy Parade. That event will take place on Saturday, December 9th as well um, at Osborne Park. And mm-hmm. this is an event that the Verona Ruitans um, put on. Um, it'll be a parade at one, and then following the parade, it'll be a festival where there'll be vendors, food trucks. Uh, we will also be providing s'mores. So if you guys like a Good s'more, definitely come yes. out and visit us. And then again, another opportunity to see Santa and take a picture. I love that. Yes. I love that. So many things going on. Yes. And of course, you can't forget like having your hot cocoa and coffee and all of those things to yes. just make it 
the holiday cheer really kind of come around, right? Definitely, definitely <laughs> my favorite part. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And so with all of those holiday activities, of course, we have concerts, movies, and all other things going on. If you want it, I got it in some way. I love it. The yeah, theater I, always we're comes already through. We're decorated. We have been for three days. Well, we tell us, back. Adam, what, what's going on at Henrico Theater? Oh, well, I need a nap. <laughs> um, all right, so we start off as soon as December hits. So everything starts tomorrow night, uh, Friday, December 1st at 7 p.m. We're showing the Santa Claus, the Tim Allen Classic. Then we're going to show it again uh, on Saturday, December 3rd at 3 p.m. What's special about that one is we actually have a special performance right before that, starting at 2.40 p.m. So the movie starts at 3, but there's a special concert of Christmas carols by our Blended Voices group, which is mm-hmm. a group of are members of our therapeutic recreation community. They come together, they sing Christmas carols, they'll lead the audience in a song, and then we'll all get down and watch the movie together. And rumor has it Santa Claus might be there too. Okay. It's a busy dude this time of year, but we think we may have snagged it. Um, we're gonna show Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, that night, Saturday night at 7 p.m., and again the next Friday at 7 p.m. So it's Christmas classics time, and in that vein, we're also doing a white Christmas sing-along this coming Sunday, the 3rd, at 3 p.m. So that'll be a lot of fun. You don't have to sing well. You just have to actually come and sing along. Right. Believe me, I don't sing well. (laughs) And we also have our wonderful tradition, the Polar Express Extravaganza, which is going to be the 22nd of December, which is a Friday, right as school's let out. So you have no excuse not to come. Right. If you've got kids, (laughs) you also have to kind of take the day off. So we're doing movies at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 7 p.m. Come in your pajamas, just like the movie. Get a golden ticket. Who knows? Santa might be there, too, but we're getting awfully close to Christmas. He might be a little busy at that point. Right, right. Uh, So that's going to cover our Christmas movies, or for the year and we've got our holiday concerts uh, the one I'm well I'm excited about all of them mm-hmm. but we've got back in the day which is a local Motown group mm-hmm. uh, Russell Bennett and the guys they're just absolutely fantastic they're with us every year they're doing two concerts for us on the 9th and the 10th both are entirely sold out I figured yeah. they're a hot commodity <laughs> they, they as have, well let's see tickets went on sale in August and they sold out by September it was wow. magical wow. Um, so mostly I'm just telling you to make you all feel jealous oh. sad <laughs> that you can't be there because entirely sold out there are no bonus ones I can't help you All right. <laughs> but we do have some seats left to our concert concert uh our traditional concert of kos and susan greenbaum okay and they do a that's double a good one too that is a good one it's actually a lot of similar music too. Yeah. kos plays a lot of motown kind of styles music but also a lot more original stuff and that's going to be at two o'clock and seven o'clock there's maybe 20 seats left between the two performances okay so if you want tickets now's the time uh tickets for concerts are only 10 bucks so come on out we've got a couple of free concerts too uh, one is the Henrico Pops Chorus, which is going to be the 12th. It's a Tuesday at 7 p.m. They've got their Christmas annual Christmas concert. We're really excited to see what they have in store for us because it's supposed to be a big one. And then we've got the concert band on t- Monday the 18th at 7.30 p.m. And this is their annual thing, too. Um, I did forget to mention all of the movies, all the concessions at Henrico Theater are always a dollar. One dollar. That's it. We are cheaper than the dollar store. <laughs> not be better than at us. this point, right? It's, it's true. It's a dollar twenty-five. And the best popcorn, I have to say, that like is. see Victoria knows. Yes. Right? Yeah. I mean, it is. We pop it fresh every show. If you wait two days and eat it, it tastes just like the big theaters. Tastes I'm just, just the saying. same. Yeah. I'm just saying ours might be fresh. So we are up to our gills with something. There's always something happening at the building this month. That's wonderful. Now, how can people get uh, concert tickets that do cost and the ones that are not free? Is that online? Do you have the call? So uh, we have box office hours and people can come by Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from noon to four anytime they want to swing by. You can come say hi. You don't even have to buy something. (laughs) They'll either find me or my colleague, Gail. We're both delightful, or at least we think so. Yes, you are. Yeah, we like to think so. (laughs) And so you just come chat. You can get tickets that way. You can go online to HenricoTheater.com or HenricoLive.com or even go to our general website, Henrico dot us slash rec and then find the theater and then you can get to my website either way you can buy the tickets online the only thing we can't do is sell you tickets over the phone okay movie tickets are only available at the box office but you can go online and see what our schedule is so movie tickets go on sale an hour before each movie Mm -hmm. it's the only way we can keep things fair right a lot of them get to be very popular okay 
Wonderful, wonderful. And so, Asia, as well, all of the activities and programs Mm -hmm. is the best way to just kind of follow our website. What do you think is the best way to keep connected? Definitely um, follow all of our social medias. We have Instagram. Um, Our website is a great resource. And on our website, you will also be able to find our program guide, which not only has all of our events for the remainder of the the year, um, but it also has all of our programs on our rec centers as well. So it's a great opportunity to kind of look and see what's in your community. Mm -hmm. Um, and just take advantage of those opportunities because they're great programs. Absolutely. Yeah. And the program guide is all over. I think I've seen yeah. a few in the libraries, mm-hmm. a few at rec slowly centers. To print. Yep. Yeah, yes. Mostly digital during the pandemic. They slowly, slowly come back to print. And if you can't find them in print, you can go to a rec center, you can go to the library and ask for them to print it for you. Okay. Well, I'll be happy to do that. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of pages, though. To yeah. print. It can be. So maybe tell us what you're looking for first. Right. Yeah. yeah. And save a tree. Look, y'all was going to say, save, save trees, tree. yeah. download our app. Yes. <laughs> yes. Download. download. Yeah. download. Yeah. And it has our program guide on there. So and you can yeah. organize what you see in the app by where you want to go, yeah. by your location, by what you're topics of interest are it's actually kind of a great resource it really is let me tell you i put like a su- couple of activities and programs that happen and i just kind of mark them and mm-hmm. then they send me reminders that yeah. like i yeah. marked this program yeah. and yeah. it's coming up i was yeah. like this is so fancy yes. <laughs> so a calendar within an app plus I mean, my calendar right. like but i mean i love it because if i didn't put it on my calendar i wouldn't remember and yeah. so. that's how we find you yeah, mm-hmm. yeah right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well i love all things rec and parks and listen you guys are lively you're exciting and you always have something going on so anything else you would like to share with our listeners today uh well we do things at the theater all year round yeah so we've got a basic schedule of mondays at uh sorry fridays at 7 p.m saturdays at 3 and 8 p.m and sundays again at 3 those are general movie schedule Mm -hmm. and always one dollar we will not change that price point for as long as I can get away with only charging one dollar. Yeah. Concerts are typically Fridays at seven PM, but we also have special things throughout the year. Just give us a call, find out what's happening. We're always happy to have you. We take requests. If there's a movie you want to see, give me a call. I'll see what I can do. I've mm-hmm. done it before. And if for those listening, if you're lucky enough to be uh, retired, we do do a special series the last Wednesday of every month at 10 a.m. It's called the Silver Screen Series. And that is specifically curated for older folks or people who just want to see a quieter movie. Yeah. So we just actually did one yesterday of My Blue Heaven which is a fantastic movie from the 80s with Steve Martin and Rick Moranis. Wow. We did that one for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, there's always something going on, and there's events throughout the year. The rec centers have programming all year long yeah just give us a call we're friendly folk oh of course yeah anything for you i mean literally everything adam said we're super excited to see everyone um on our tour so just you know like adam said follow us on social media download the app get the program guide and come see us because we're excited to see you all wonderful well thank you guys for being here it's been so much fun doing my holiday segment of henrico happenings and wishing you all all of our listeners a peace and joy during this holiday time happy holidays and we'll see you in 2024. 